Koguruma. This is a counter to Mizuguguri. Mizuguguri is a diving underthrow. Uh, we generally do a double leg takedown now, which is a variation of the traditional technique, and this is a counter to that technique. Um, since we're countering our more modern version of the double leg takedown, it's slightly different than it would be otherwise. Uh, the traditional version of Mizuguguri, I'm going under and I'm literally sticking my head between someone's legs, wrapping around their legs, lifting them over backwards. Our more modern version, we're going in for a double leg takedown. In any case, when anyone's dropping down and trying to get underneath me, I'm level changing, sprawling on them. How I'm going to follow up is I'm going to grab the arms from behind. This is a little bit like Yaku Hagai, if you want to watch that video. Yaku Hagai is actually been standing. By the way, my uh, training partner here is a stick, as a broom, and a mop in each arm, pillowcase wrapped around. Uh, Wrapped up with a gi On Gaku Hagai, my far arm goes across the body, hooks underneath, I grab the top, and pull the arms together from behind. This one I'm using different arms. This one I'm using the same side arm going underneath, reaching over from the top and pulling the arms together. It's going to come in from that sprawl. They're coming in with double leg takedown, <coughs> I'm sprawling on them and I'm hooking under their arms. They're trying to get in. Their arms are coming in around me. As I drop, my arms are hooking their arms. They come in with a shot. <clears throat> sprawling, and I'm hooking under both arms. As they come in, I'm sprawling. Their arms are trying to wrap around my legs. My arms hook and stop them from getting in deep. Then I'm just going to step to one side or the other. Whichever side I step to, the head out of the way, squeeze those arms together from behind. Some variations on this technique. Someone's coming in. Instead of going for both arms, it's a little more realistic. A basic uh, wrestling uh, counter that we use, uh, we're often using now as a uh, variation of this, is still sprawling. Hooking, except I'm probably going to cross face on one side, get the arm on the other, just grab the back of the neck, get a reverse wing with a finger four lock. Very sufficient, much more realistic than trying to grab both arms, but same similar set setup. They're coming at me, sprawling, instead of reaching under the far arm, just reaching across the jawline. Cross face, hooking the close side arm, grab the back of the neck, figure four lock. Nice reverse wing to control the neck and shoulder. Also, if you happen to miss that arm, you know, you got your hand on the back of the head or neck as you sprawl and stuff the head. Maybe you didn't get under the arm, you're over the arm. Just go over the arm and grab your own, your other wrist. Got a nice uh, quarter Nelson from the front. In any case, I'm always there coming low. Make sure I'm level changing before I sprawl. I'm not just sprawling and letting them get underneath me. That ball comes, level change, and sprawl. My arms are trying to hook under their arms or the, head, the arm in the face. Either hooking under the face with a cross face and under the arm with a reverse wing or sprawling under both arms take a side and then bring your hands together, locking their arms behind you. One last time, more traditional version. Come in, sprawl, hook, step to the side, bring those arms together. Ko-go-ruma. Ko-go-ruma. And I'll